Good morning, everyone. I woke up today to a hundred new subscribers. I knew somebody had plugged my channel, but I didn't know who. Uh, one of the subscribers uh, told me it was Santos Bonacci, Mr. Astrotheology himself. He posted uh, my video, Thalem in My Mind, on Facebook page. Um, and I'd like to welcome all of Santos is subs to my channel. Uh, it is a breath of fresh air to have new subs that actually know what astrotheology is and what this is all about. That's going to make my job e easier here where you're concerned. You'll find it very easy to navigate through some of this material because you have a solid foundation that was laid for you by him. Um, this I don't even think I have to tell anybody who Santos Bonacci is. Uh, he, along with several others, especially him, has really uh, opened the door for a lot of people like myself uh, to be able to talk about this subject. Uh, people can be very defensive where their religion and their beliefs are concerned. Um, you will find 144 older videos on the Inside 33 Archive 11, Levet 11. Um, here I do alchemical astrology. I don't like to call it astrotheology because that implies religion. And this is not something to be worshipped. This is more of being in school uh, is the approach we take to this here. It's an alchemical approach. Uh, using alchemy and understanding that the zodiac is um, an alchemical transmutation circle brings a whole new light to what astrology is and um, why they tried to cover it up with religion. I started out in linguistics. Uh, I actually teach... Um, how the scribes scribbled the scripture and gave us Bible, Bible, Bible from Babylon. And I, I think I do a pretty good job of proving my point. Um, some of you have asked me about the astrology charts I'm doing. Um, they're alchemical astrology charts. Uh, I was doing free charts. I have 267 free charts left to do. I'm not going to add any more to that list. Uh, that was back when I had only 200 subs and my channel exploded. I can no longer do that at that level. But I am going to keep my promise to those 267 individuals and give them their free natal chart. If you donate to this channel, you, your request goes to the top of the list. This is called the short list. Uh, it had three on it. I just added one more. Uh, Pamela, Tony, and Sarah, you're all going to get your charts tonight. If you've made a donation to this channel and requested a chart and do not see your name here and did not receive a chart, then please um, contact me and we'll get that straight right away. Also, um, I'm a little confused between the emails, the comments, and everything that's going on and my life's been a little upside down the past couple months. Uh, I need I need to know who Jimmy Pitts is, please. I know I'm getting your emails and I got your package, uh, but I do not have a clue who you are as far as uh, your username and my subs. I've tried to go through my emails but it is, I need a secretary. I'm really unorganized for a Capricorn. I'm ashamed to say that because generally we're very organized people. But after moving twice, living in a hotel for a month, losing my hard drive, and practically what little I owned, um, I'm a little bit unorganized. No, I'm a lot unorganized right now. So if you could contact me too, please so I can get your information because I don't even know who you are, dear, and you've been extremely kind to me. Um, you'll find all kind of videos in here. 
uh, I predominantly, like I said, I do linguistics, so I do uh, the Bible, Bibble, Babble, and I do the charts. I do iconography. I'll go through the paintings, and I do the symbology, uh, because before we had an alphabet, we had a symbolical language. But you're going to find all kind of uh, videos on my channel, and my internet's not working right now. I got me another virus. And we'll just have to deal with that. Okay, uh, Bitcoin. I offer a Bitcoin link in the description box below. It is a Bitcoin faucet. It only asks for your email one time to sign up. You will never get spam in your email. You'll never be asked to complete a survey. It's just a simple faucet. They're hoping you'll gamble. My advice, just push the button and get the free Satoshi. Bit, uh, Bitcoin was at 1800 when I started. It's at 6000 now. And so that's a great way to support this channel if you don't have and make yourself some Bitcoin while you're at it. And I'm not into all the hoopla about money and the Antichrist and evil and all that stuff about the Bible because most people don't know how to read it and they don't have a clue of the timeline that goes along with it. But if you stick with this channel for a while, the alchemy uh, clarifies everything. When you, add, when you realize that it's not just a zodiac, it's a magic circle, and you're in the middle of it, that makes you the magician. And religion has found a way to make you cast spells upon yourself. And so we're trying to break free from that dynamic uh, and follow the Bible as an astrology book, not a religious book. And it tells you to take up your cross and follow him. There are three crosses on Golgotha. There are three crosses in the heavens. Everybody's on one of those crosses. We have all been crucified. Okay? So uh, it, it's helping you to know thyself. As above, so below. As without, so within. There's a zodiac over your head. And there's a zodiac in your head. And... Uh, Right now, we're really targeting the constellation of Aquarius because it's the age we are moving into. We're looking at all the iconography and all the different traditions from Mesopotamian, Sumer, Egypt that talk about this age. It is ruled by Saturn. Uh, I do not do Western astrology, tropical astrology, or Vedic astrology. To me, they're all loaded with traditions of men. You will hear me talk about them, uh, but when you get a chart, it is pure alchemy. I will not use the traditions of men if it doesn't fall in line with earth, fire, air, and water, and those characteristics of mutable, fixed, or cardinal, then I just simply don't use it. Uh, I try, and if you request a chart from me, Please don't send me an email telling me all about yourself. I prefer to do them knowing nothing. I don't want my opinions or something somebody said to me influence a chart. I would rather the alchemy itself speak to me and let the chart tell me about you. Uh, that way I don't have any predisposition on the chart. It's just, it says what it says, not what I think, what I feel, what I know, or what I heard. And um, so if you're going to request a chart, it, you will be required a donation from here on out. I will honor the 267 I have in, on deck, and I do them, I will do them at my leisure. Uh, this channel definitely needs donations right now. After staying in a hotel for a month and then moving here, I'm strapped for cash. I actually... Uh, Missed a few days of work last week. I was late for work because my transfer bus was late. And uh, I got let go today. So I'm either going to kick this channel into full time and require donations for these charts or I'm going to have to go out and get a full time job and the channel will suffer for it. Right now I'm sinking about 8 to 10 hours a day into this channel. Uh, yesterday, I got four charts done. That is three hours for each one. 
to do it, to process it, upload it, email it, all of that. It's about three hours in each one. And uh, at, with a full-time job, I will not be able to do that. So any and every donation is needed and will not be wasted. Uh, I'm glad to have you people from Santos's channel. Uh, I'm hoping you can bring a lot of information with you to share with us that have been here for a while. And to my subs, I have a group of you that have just been with me for years. And uh, I expect you to welcome these new subs, uh, help them find the videos that they're looking for in all this mess, and uh, maybe even help me get organized a little bit. We all share, we all contribute, and we all try to be there for each other on this channel. Uh, um, I have had um, a couple of bad experiences as of late. Um, I'm not going to delve into it, but I will say I'm not going to tolerate any more crap on this channel. With this many people in it growing this fast, then uh, I need to take a little better control of it. So, if you get out of hand, you just go find yourself deleted, that's all. Otherwise, the comment box is open for everybody. You're allowed to express your view on this channel, regardless of what it is. But you're not allowed to get ugly. You're not allowed to demean somebody else's character. If you've got something intelligent to say, I'm all for it. But as Mark Twain said, when you don't have anything intelligent to say, uh, people resort to insult. That won't be tolerated here any longer. Uh, I, this is, we're all adults here. I expect you to act like it. All right. We, most of the people here, we came out of the church. We know. Uh, so I don't spend my time bashing a lot of what goes on in the church. I just tell it like it is. Like I'm going to tell you that Jupiter is the god of this world right now. And that Jupiter is Nibiru. And Nibiru has nothing to do with people coming from uh, Jupiter. They came from Europe. Where they always come from. Well, right now they've taken over the whole world, but we're moving into the age of Aquarius, and it's Saturn's turn to rule, and rule he will. We are no longer in the age of the law. We are no longer in the age of grace or mercy. This is the age of your works will follow you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You will be held accountable by karma herself for what you say and what you do. And we're trying to get a foot up on this and get in that direction as we move into this age. Uh, the zodiac itself being an alchemical transmutation circle, its purpose is the great work, which is one, the philosopher's stone, which is an encoded term in itself, and also um, apotheosis. To me, we are in school. The zodiac has 12 houses. There are 44 above, 44 below, and one hidden one makes a total of 101. So we are in alchemical astrology 101. And that's how I'm trying to approach this subject from this channel. It's more of a learning experience, and I don't know everything. A lot of this I'm learning as I go. But I do have a background in linguistics. I do have a background in alchemy. And I did not choose to be an astrologer. It chose me. I'm sure Santos Bonacci could say the same thing. This is not a subject that uh, one takes on very lightly. When you began talking about this, you're coming up against the biggest institutions on this planet, namely the Vatican, Mecca, any religious organization, uh, even Western astrology to me is it being 23.5 degrees off of where it should be. I understand the Western astrology chart was created at exactly the same time the New Testament was. Uh, if you stick with me long enough, 
you're going to start to understand the past, the present, and the future a lot more better. The, uh, as we move through uh, the different languages and the different symbols before languages, before the alphabet, everything was a symbolic language and there was no misunderstandings. It was it said exactly what it meant to say. But because of the oath of the priest of Babylon, uh, this whole world is in chaos and a mess. And I'm trying to unravel that Bibble Babble, uh, define it how it properly should be defined, which is astrology. But again, I, I dislike the word astro theology because it designates it as a religion and I, I'm just not seeing to me everything about religions wrong the last thing I would want is to take good alchemical astrology and turn it into a religion uh, that would it, it would just it would ruin the next two ages we do not want this to happen because it will just put people in control and they'll start doing what they did in this age. And, and that's filtering the information and encoding it for their own purposes. It's like Saturn being in retrograde. People over you, who have authority over you, abuse you for their own pleasures and financial gain. And that has pretty much what has occurred. We're moving into the golden age and um, which is the olden age, it will be known as Zeptepi. Uh, we're talking about before Genesis 1 here. And uh, there's some videos on it. Go back and help yourself through it. You can go through Inside 33. I'm really excited to have all of you here. Uh, I'm hoping that you, most of you being under uh, Mr. Astro Theology, you have a lot to offer this channel and the subs that are here with me because we're very thirsty uh, for knowledge and we're very hungry and we try to move as fast a pace as possible all right i think i covered it all um, you have to commit that random act of kindness every day and start banking your karma that's very important because there's not going to be any more grace no more mercy your works follow you your words and your deeds follow you just pretty much everything about those letters in red in the New Testament is talking about this age of Aquarius that we're stepping into. Uh, in my opinion, we're already there because the battle of water Pisces and air Aquarius happened in World War II in the Pacific. It was the battle of air and water. Uh, on the TV today, they're showing you the battle of fire and ice that happened between Aries and Pisces. Uh, if you know that story, then you already know the ending to the Game of Thrones. And I'll give you a clue. Uh, Mars rules Aries, Jupiter rules uh, Pisces, and they work together. They work together. Uh, Jupiter rules the fire, of Sagittarius and the water of Pisces and Mars rules the fire of Aries and the water of Scorpio so they change places so you'll always see these two in cahoots with each other as we move into Aquarius and Capricorn this golden age it is the only place in the zodiac where two where one planet rules two houses side by side and that's why it's called the Golden Age. It is represented to us by the statue of Baphomet, half man, half goat, half Capricorn, half Aquarius. And that simply is just an inverted symbol of Pan, the goat man. Uh, and all of this represents Saturn, who Jupiter and Mars, running everything right now, have demonized Saturn. Uh, when Jesus, or Thalem properly, himself told the priest of the temple that, um, he even told Peter that he was Satan. And Peter is just a play off on Jupiter. And he all, he all, and the son of Peter is the son of Satan. The son of Peter 
was Judas Iscariot. Uh, most don't make that connection, but it's quite clear. They tell you that he is the son of Simon, and Peter's name was Simon. That's why Simon says. That's why you have to follow Simon, and that's why Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't eat, eat keep her, so he put her in a pumpkin shell, and there she remains very well. Uh, all of our childhood nursery rhymes, all are encoded as well. So we try to break down this language and unbibble the babble, and every time we do this, it leads us back to the heavens and this great alchemical transmutation circle we call the zodiac. All right, did I get all that out? Did you get all that? Do you understand that? I'm sure you did. Uh, my subs are intelligent anyway. Now, those that aren't can't hang on this channel very long. You have to be able to think for yourself. I encourage you to think for yourself constantly, to don't listen to what other people say, not even me. Go check out my work. You can. I've, I've done hundreds of videos about all of this before I actually broke into it. Uh, I've done the etymology on all of the planets and the linguistics to show you where they would change and use the word heaven instead of the word air. Instead of an air sign, they called it heaven. So the, our Father who art in heaven is none other than Saturn. He rules the air signs over Mercury and Venus. Uh, the god of the abyss is Jupiter. The god of hellfire and brimstone and the burning bush and Molech and Vulcan, that's all Mars. Uh, there are more than one God in those books. There's no such thing as monotheism. Uh, and that's what this channel is about. Is religion is bogus, uh, but alchemy is the real deal. And you can use alchemy to define any astrology from any culture, time, or tradition. It doesn't matter what it is. Once you lay that alchemical will over it, and you know what each sign represents, then you can't be lied to. The traditions of men fall away. Example, in the New Age movement, they want to attach Uranus to Aquarius. That's not possible. Uranus does not rule any constellation, especially Aquarius. Aquarius is a fixed sign, unchangeable, unmovable, ruled by Saturn. Damn sure ain't changing. But Uranus does mean outer transformation. It's a generational marker that affects all of the houses, like Pluto and Neptune. There are only seven chakras in your body. There can only be seven that rule these. And it's the seven planets, including the sun and the moon, are included. You have uh, the sun, Mercury, Venus the moon, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. The earth is not included, and neither are the outer planets. They are, as I said, generational markers. They affect large groups of people over a period of time rather than affecting you individually. Even though as they move through your uh, alchemical will, your natal will, your cross, you will feel the effects of them. And also remembering that we do have principles in science today that the observer, the observer affects the experiment. So when you begin to look at your natal charts and to learn them, and you begin to understand the zodiac is an alchemical transmutation circle, then uh, you can begin to become the musician, musician, huh? the magician that affects these. And it is music to me anyway. The heavens is like a big symphony, and all of them have this frequency, and it's just beautiful music to me. When you start walking through this, in this, does it make life any easier? Probably not, no. As a matter of fact, it's made my life much more of a battle. Every time I get a big bump on my channel, it seems the circumstances in my life are there to take me down. Um, it's a battle. It's a spiritual warfare going on. And I feel like I'm kind of caught in the middle of it. 
But at the same time, um, the more you know, the fear, once you're introduced to this truth, there's no more, you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid if you're going to die and go to hell because you understand what hell is. You're not afraid uh, that your friends and family are all, all going to die and go to hell. All the fear's gone. You can finally, and once you let go of that, that alone, uh, getting out from under that bondage of what religion did to manipulate people and making them feel guilty and afraid, then you begin to walk in your own truth. And uh, that that will be better for you mentally and spiritually. But life is what life is. It's still hard on all of us. It's a daily struggle. We have to have money to survive. Uh, money's been real demonized too uh, because Jupiter and Mars are in control of all the information. And of course they're going to demonize it. Money is no more evil than a gun. It is people people and what they do with it, how they use others and manipulate others with it. That is what is evil. I've always said <clears throat> evil can only live in two places on this planet, and that is in the hearts and the minds of people. Uh, things themselves are just things. They're neither good nor bad, and everything has two sides. There's two sides to every coin. And then there's the occasional time that that coin will just stand on its end. It doesn't land on heads or tails. It'll stand straight up. And those are what we are looking for. Uh, the diamonds in the rough, those needles in the haystack that can help us to understand this reality better and to navigate through it. Um, if we look at this as a school, our intention is to pass with the highest grade possible. If you look at it as alchemy, you are becoming the philosopher's stone and then apotheosis into God, your own God, creating your own life, being your own King Arthur, writing your own story, pulling your own sword from the stone or your words from the tones. And that's what I hope to attempt on this channel. And I encourage your likes, your shares, your contributions, uh, your comments, and your donations. And they are especially needed at this time. All right, bank that karma every single day. You're going to need it committing that random act of kindness.